Welcome everybody to another episode of LP for You. Uh, you're live here with myself, LLL. And we also have Polly Jukes. Oh hi! Once again, we're in the same room together. Another special event. Uh, this time, instead of being at Mind Radar, Mr. Polly Jukes. That's right. So if there's any issues with sound, please tell us because uh, on the Twitch chat, because uh, we'll not know otherwise. I've got a new setup with the mics and so forth so yeah haven't done it this way before mm. so yeah please let us know if anything goes all right um all right so uh, what we're going to be doing today is something a little bit different to what we usually well what we've done in the past a little more selfish perhaps oh uh, definitely a little <laughs> bit more selfish <laughs> but it'll prove good for you guys as well i'm sure so to start off with what we're going to do is we're going to be looking inwards to ourselves we're going to be looking inwards to our past um, and by past, I mean, we're going to look at our old replays from back in the day, like six months or so ago, having even, a look at e even longer in some cases, even longer in some cases it, and have a look and see, uh, what we were doing then, what we're doing now, what's the difference, what lessons have we learned along the way and really getting us prepared for, we've made some big improvements ourselves because sometimes it's hard to to notice those big improvements, isn't it? That's right. At least I hope we have. Yeah, like, well... I Spoilers, hope I I've seen these before, so definitely <laughs> we have. But yeah, like, it, sometimes you don't realise how far you've come. Going from, um, like, I'm pretty sure at the start of this year, or the start of last year, I was still a bronze player, and I played Laura at the start of 2017. I was looking through those replays and thought better to actually show you. <laughs> Just in case you hop back onto that train, I don't want any more... More. Or uh, any, any more Benitas <laughs> in the Discord. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, so... And now I'm not a Laura player anymore. So looking at how far we come uh, can give us, you know, that little bit of a boost, help us out of those ruts. Uh, show, yes, you are actually improving. So should we start with yourself? Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. I've, I've been waiting to click this button because I don't want you to see who I got you. Got, uh, to, got a replay yeah. of you playing. I actually haven't seen this, anybody. Uh, everyone, so... Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to uh, <laughs> fix that for the stream now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright, guys. Not a... Not a... Not a, not laughing at anyone, specifically, of course. No, well, uh, other than me. Um, can, can I just true. say, this person was uh, one of my <laughs> personal demons. Yes, okay. For quite a long time. Alright, this is... I did hear you say this last time, so this is yes. why I'm... I'm going to click the button now right. so everyone can see. Oh. Yes, it is uh, the one and only SkyVM. Uh, back when I was a super bronze Akuma. Um, this caused me a lot of grief. Still does, I hear. Uh, not so much anymore. Uh, I got him a little bit under control. Um, whoa, what's up, Lone Ember? Uh, good to see you. Thanks for joining us in the, in the Twitch chat. All right, here we go. Again, if you hear anything that's a bit awry, like the sound isn't right, just let us know. Round one. Ah, kick Tatsu from him. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So I can safely say this is before I learned to anti-air. Absolutely. That was the very first thing I thought of when I saw this. Oh my god. Return to sender. You're just learning from the best. Yeah. Ugh. Yep. Alright, crush counter. Big crush counter. Here we go. No. Oh, no, it drops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, just anti air. That's all you have to do. Oh. <laughs> I think this is from uh, May, was it? The May. Thing? Yeah, right. This guy is a national hero. Oh, did you see? Oh. You, should, you should have seen that DP. Oh. Round starting DP. You knew the hate. I knew it was coming. The hard kick Tatsu was coming. The hardest of reads. <laughs> oh, and, did you see that? It was an anti air. You haven't learned to convert off them yet, though. No. Oh, yes. You'll wake up EX DP to the. Here we go. Timeline. Big crush counter. Nope. Got the reset. <laughs> Went into a jump. Interesting choice. Oh, doesn't check that. Oh, 
Oh no, you know better than that one. Alright, demon. No? Okay. Oh, yes! No, oh, no confession. That's fine. Oh, look at that. Cross up master. Is it a thing though? The, uh... The red fireball? Uh... On Tatsu? Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he does it. Every... <laughs> he really did to it at the start of every yeah. round. I didn't even notice that. Critical art? No? Alright. Went for the corner carry. Smart choice. Ooh, no conversion off that. Ooh, no idea again. He just reset you. Yep. Here we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was medium punch, so that was optimal. Ah, uh, no, it should have been uh, light punch. I wonder if you should have kept your uh, bar, though. Because you're uh, a little bit... I'm feeling like you're a bit alone right now. Yeah, no, I agree. Was it? Oh, no. Ugh. What's a jabbing? What's a yeah. crouch jabbing? Well, I just want to stop him from pressing buttons. <laughs> I'm it's sure not even I'm your sure. quickest button. No, it's not. Only a frame difference, right? Alright. So... I would honestly like to think... I'm a little bit better than uh, than I was back then. I want to keep watching. You want to keep watching? Yes. Wait, there's more. There's more. Oh, jeez. I got a whole set. You got a whole set. Well, actually, I don't. It's not a whole set. Uh, I'm pretty sure he won and done to it each time. Oh yeah, no, he's. <laughs> right, so that, that's why this guy really, really annoyed me. Is because he would one and done me every time. Every time. It didn't matter how much he beat me. It didn't matter how much. I like if it was super close or he basically perfected me, it didn't matter. Oh, Polly, what'd you do? Oh, yep, turning on the. Oh, uh, yeah, I. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, here we go. Now we can see the buttons. Um, but yeah, didn't matter. He would uh, one and dummy, and I called him out on it every time. Um, yeah. Alright. Oh, yes. Went for damage instead of stun. Oh no! I think he's gonna come back from here. Yeah. I got a bit keen with the overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Oh man, so. <laughs> no, yeah, SkyBM is a, an interesting character. He, uh. I don't think he has any regard for the opponent. <laughs> I th I, yeah, that's right, Scythe. I think you are watching uh, L's own Rite of Passage. Yes. Oh, but seriously, I got I played this guy s for so long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is back in um, when DPs were invincible, right? No, this is season two. Oh yeah, right, right. I do have some season one stuff, but it's for me, not for you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, but this guy, right? He, I could not beat him for so long, and you just won and done me, and I couldn't, I couldn't deal. And it was back in, where, in the time when my internet was terrible, worse than it is now. So it would take you like 20 minutes to get a game? It took me 40 minutes to get a game. <laughs> it would take me 40 minutes to get a game, and uh, I'd get SkyBM, he would meet me, and I would lose, and I'd be filled with salty, salty rage, and he would leave. Is that why I always saw you with like lots of verse, verse SkyBM in a battle lounge? Yeah. Like, okay, alright. Because I called him out on it. I'm like, dude, this is not cool. I just want to play Street Fighter. Let me play Street Fighter. And so I, I took him into the lounge and I... You know, oh, I look at that raid. Yep. You didn't read it that time. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> He's around Super Silver now. Whoa. That's... that's Look, that's promising for him. I actually hope the best for him. I really hope that one day... This man uh, learns to play Street Fighter, not learning to play Sky BM. You know what I mean? No? Am I about to? I just want to watch this last one. Okay. Oh, 
This one. I. You remember this one? <laughs> I, I might remember this one. I'm pretty sure at this at this match, uh, as we started, I saw it. See, my sorrow is silver, and I sent him a message. Before, like while this was lo loading, I said, "Congrats on getting into silver." Or something like that. I'm pretty sure I sent a message saying, <laughs> yeah, and, and I did that, of course, because <laughs> I've played him a lot. I said, yeah, but I sent a message saying, "Congrats on getting to silver," and then we played. Oh, crush counter! Oh, no, wow. he tried it again on you. Yeah, this is a few days apart. I'm pretty sure too. Yeah. Oh, you threw it this time, yeah. I will say though, this. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <right> again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, here we go. Uh, why would you do DP? Bad choices. Oh, medium punch anti air. Interesting air, yeah. Alright, come on. Just before he. Push counter! Yes! <laughs> oh, you're too far away. You need to at least sell out my ranges. Oof. You did discover AA jab by this stage, though. Yes. Oh wow, he's uh, ultra silver. Congrats to him. Oh, he read me on my uh, on on my read. Oh my god. Serious note, this though. Is a, this is an amazing match. <laughs> <laughs> he does it every time. Um, but serious talk. This guy almost made me quit Street Fighter. Uh, He's gonna love that if he ever hears it. Yeah, because just that one and done. And because again, I was waiting 40 minutes for a game and I'd come in, get this guy, and one and done. Did you not have handshake icons? Ah, oh, this is before that. Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, 2.5 update, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Year and a half we were without that stuff. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. I'm surprised he didn't DP there. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I couldn't find my own uh, Kens. Uh, Sky BM. So yeah. yeah, I couldn't find that or pistols or anything like that. So. Uh. Oh, no punish. He's just jumping. Rams? Is he Kuma over here? I, I, look, I don't know. This is before my time, Polly. I only joined Street Fighter in like... Maybe July last year. Maybe I know June. that because I, I saw it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went through all your replays. You went through all my replays. Well, I, I, I hit the Y button and just tapped next. Yeah, right. And it skips 50 at a time, but of course, we play a lot of Street Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's, um, is that, that's the end of my recording. Yeah. So, so I reckon, uh, I reckon, I reckon we've learned a lot since then. I think I've learned a lot. Uh, Should we uh, just see mine or go into the game again? I want to, I want to hear what uh, the chat thinks about that. Have I improved chat? Have I, have I actually? I'm, I'm actually talking to the chat. I've turned away from the mic to talk to the. But anyway, have I improved chat? Have I? Am I better than that? I like to think I am. I anti air consistently. Maybe not so much anymore, but you know. Let's find out. Let's find out. All right. So here we go. The Oops. sound on. Oh yeah, the sound on. I I need some. Is it just one? Just one. Yep. Just one. All yep. right. All right. Here we go. So now you get to see how how we've improved. Thanks to Healy. And yes, team, I am definitely fishing for compliments. Is there a problem with that? Uh, did I tell you before that uh, I have a guest uh, player for you? No. Sky BM? <laughs> no. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> I thought about it. Thought about it? I thought he'd get a kick out of it. But yeah. I, I actually have him on um, PSN chat. No! Didn't he get to Platinum at some point though? He did, and then uh, they went through those updates which uh, took all your LP away from uh, Rage Quitting. Yeah, right. But he did actually- Oh no, he got, a, he got those points from that, didn't he? And then lost it because he kept losing. I have no idea. Oh. Should we test your any ears? Oh, you don't need to because I know they're great. Jump at me. See? Bam. Um, 
But yes, uh, for the people at home, we will be opening this up to the public in uh, the general LP view fashion. Oh, is it? Ah, yeah, cool. I got too excited by watching all the DPs from... <laughs> so this is your DP blood in you right yeah. now? <laughs> Round two. Skybeam's just a DP, wake up DP, uh... Monster. I was gonna say drug, but anyway, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's, that's definitely a break. Ah! Ah! So, um, while, while we're here, um, AE's coming out. Uh, I, it's tomorrow, isn't is, it? Is it actually tomorrow for us, though? I know it says a date, but... Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, I, I, I distracted you I with... I pressed a button, though. I distracted you with my talk. Sweeps. Uh. Oh, I wanted the crush counter. I know you wanted the crush counter. <laughs> I wanted the crush counter. <laughs> uh, at 4. At 4 a.m. or 4 p.m.? Cutting wind. It'd be four in the afternoon, surely. Yeah. Yeah. So that I comes out. That's mm, okay. that's going to be very exciting. Um, we have we have some fun things planned for a, don't we? Definitely. Yeah. I uh, not not just people coming in to uh, do character specific episodes, mm. but some uh, some long term plans with some fledglings. I think not just fledglings actually. No, with Round just uh, other players. Right. Like, didn't need Tracking to. their progress over a, over time. Yeah. All through season three, basically. Yeah, and seeing how they improve, seeing um, you know, helping them as well, which will be a fun thing to do. So, um, and we'll be able to get back into the character specifics again, which is really good. I'm excited for that. Um, Oh, I always do that. Oh, it's not a good <laughs> punish. <laughs> oh. These EXCPs, man. Yeah, I just got excited. Round two. Uh, yeah, no, uh, not quite Dr. Death. You're correct, he does teach you to play the, the player. Uh, or at least, at the very least, it taught me to learn what is safe and what is not safe when you're playing against Ken. Ah, thanks for dropping, Polly. Yeah, I know. You heard. Did you hear the super cancer did you? I did. <laughs> I definitely did. Oh, damn it. Oh, I've been infected. Oh, I should have got the stun. And, um, hey, nah, I'm good. Yeah, but I could have kept the meter. He, yes, he teaches you how to adapt. Um, you know, we should really work on getting SkyBM on as a special guest one day. Wouldn't that be great? Not not as like a meme, like as a legit thing. Um, you always push the button slightly before I do. I, I had two chances to go into Super Man. Oh, that was a oh no. Hit. I don't know what's going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, I... yeah. oh, wow, what a mess. <laughs> I don't hey, know what happened uh, there. Scythe says uh, AE is the 17th for us. Wins. Yeah. The, the 17th. 17th? That's Wednesday, I believe. So... Do you know what time it is on Wednesday? Mm. Am I actually going to get things done tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Be productive? Uh, yeah, you will. I'm just going to have to leave my PlayStation on over night. Alright. I reckon you've improved with AAs with baiting. I reckon you've improved, despite what we just saw with your wake-up <laughs> DPs. Uh, 
your throw game, and I reckon your your, uh, your counter hit combos as well. Oh, so. shucks. Thanks. Um, um, no, I think so. Um, all right. It'll be around lunchtime. Hmm. Maybe I might leave early tomorrow. All right. So now it's time to look at some old poly videos. Yeah. Um. I don't know what to show to be honest. Uh. So. Uh. Do you want to? Sh no, I do. Yeah. I've forgotten. I wanted to show you um, a, film, a replay that I put up uh, launch month. Yeah. Um, against WP's one and only Brewer. Ooh. Can I just say, um, so it's obvious that I have improved from when I, from where I was a little bronze scrub who couldn't beat um, SkyBM to where I am now. And that it's been a long journey, I believe. Uh, and it was hard fought. And it came down to a few things that I personally found um, that made the difference. Uh, the first thing that made the... How is Christie streaming? Mm, don't know. Sorry. Yeah, um... We're just gonna turn, oh yeah, turn down the sound settings. All right, so yeah, it came down to a few things. Firstly, learning to anti-air was the most important thing. So if you're a bronze player out there, the most important thing you should focus on is anti-airs. That got me from bronze to silver in like a day. Secondly, um, it was just learning to not be an idiot and DP everything. And also, don't press buttons on, on wake up, just block. Hold down back on, on wake up and waiting for your turn. That's right, you went through most of my V-Trigger um, wreckers just mm. before you blocked most of them, so. Yeah, All exactly. Um, so blocking, and then uh, the thing that I'm working on at the moment, which uh, again, is what we've been talking about in the last few episodes of lp for You, is uh, the mental state of the game, and not just mindlessly playing and pressing buttons and all that jazz, actually thinking about what you're doing, uh, paying attention to your opponent, paying attention to um, what they're doing on the wake up, what buttons they're pressing, at what ranges and that type of stuff, noticing uh, what block strings they do, how they end, uh, and are you able to get a whiff punish off that, and that, uh, that type of stuff, mm. which is where it starts to get the next level. Mm. Mm. Uh, I forgot also one thing. Uh, you learned how to meaty. Ah, yes. You've done a lot in the last six months. I have. I definitely have. I learned how to fight in game. <laughs> I learned how to fight in game. I'm sure the Discord helped out a lot too. Oh, I actually agree uh, seriously, looking through your replays, um, the number of diamonds I saw you play against in battle lounges over the last six months was extraordinary. Yes. Far more than I have. <laughs> um, yeah, um, it, you must go out there and search for them specifically. So no, I just come into the Discord and ask. Yep. Uh, and that's one thing that I learned is ask people um my uh, the first time i asked nez i was super nervous because he's like this godly diamond player that i didn't really know and um i just wanted to learn and help and i asked I him, like you describing him like that oh well he, that's what he seemed like at the time <laughs> right and now he's just a real like he's still a really really good player but he's just a really really nice dude who wants to help people and um yeah he he helped me come a long way and then all the other diamonds and pl platinums super platinums all of you have helped me uh, a lot so thank you to everyone out there who's watching thank you to everyone who's helped me polly you've helped me a lot as well lies <laughs> um but yeah so, all right and that's that's why we do this that's why we do lp for you to share back that love and help you all right are you ready i'm ready i'm excited here we go All right, sound. There we go. <laughs> All right. That's pretty loud. I'll let me just put that down. I've got no idea how it will sound like. Let's hope that full screen works. This All is right. the path of my destiny. destiny. All right, so here we have Brewer as a Ryu player. So, uh, if I oh wait, let me just say that again. This is from February tw twenty three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like almost a year three ago. weeks after launch. Yeah, almost two years ago. Yeah, almost wow. two years ago. So, 
Corinne my first character that I played for a month. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still. Oh. This is Brill's first character, I think, Ryu. Is it the Fireball game? Oh, oh nice. You got the. Oh, the day one things, don't worry. Yeah. Oh. Oh, good punish, well, I guess. Oh! Yeah, great CC punish. Great, great <laughs> CC punish. Oh. You've, you've already realized Karen Squid is godlike? Yes. That was the first thing to work. Uh, oh, oh, raw, yep. No punish. Oh, wow. That's, that's, a, that's a legit punish. Yeah. It wasn't really punishing anything, I just wow. happened to get Can it. I just point out, you're, it, it's, you're in bronze and you guys are in like the top 70,000 points. I know, right? <laughs> Brewer not using the uh, dungeon as, as probably um, planned, as, <laughs> yeah. as designed. Mm. Man. Yeah, this is right. neutral, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Press some buttons. Oh, just do it. Just do it, yeah. That's so and so. Oh, good baits. I did, did get about, you know, 80 damage out of them. Hmm. Oh. It's playing Street Fighter 4 Ryu, I think. Yeah. Oh, block the overhead. This is when Corinne's back throw was not minus two. Oh, could have supered. Ah, uh, that's one thing is you're not using meter at all. <sighs> how horrible is that? Mm. That's how mm. I used to play Corinne. Well, I don't think you've improved very much, to be honest. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Uh, let me just get the next one. Um, I so. That was a bit of a joke, but I used to play um, Street Fighter 2's own Vlade a lot uh, until I changed to PC. I haven't played him since. I, I, I don't think Vlade even likes the game. He's, a, he's an OG. So, um... Ooh. Oh, is that, uh, is that... That's us. No, that's just me going through the list, I think. All right. So, the, the stream can't see it anyway. Um... Yeah, and he was like the first player that really reached out to me and yeah. spoke to me. Um, this was before I knew what the Discord was and all mm. that sort of jazz. And he was he was the player that I had the most intense matches. Yeah. He seemed like he knew how to play Street Fighter. Whereas like, you know, if I did bump into anyone... Um, that was very, very good. You bump into them once and then you never see them again because they were probably... This, yeah. is, this is when you, you were bronze but you were still getting matched up to golds, right? Yeah. So, um, before they changed the matchmaking um, settings there, I hopefully have found... Have I found the right one there? It's all video, that's why. Okay, here we go. Alright. But sometimes it does just take that one person to reach out to you. Yeah, so he was really nice to me. Um, so, the very first person to give me some sort of like, you know, helpful advice. Mm. Um, um, just quickly, Sash is asking, what fighting game experience did you have prior to Street Fighter V, Polly? I played um, Street Fighter, like most of us, Super, it's not Super, Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the Super Nintendo uh, back in 1990. Five or something <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a Super Nintendo controller. Uh, was probably really awful at it, um, but played it, you know, non-stop for a few years, as a lot of mm. us did. Um, because that means nothing. I came back to fighting games um, with MKX mm. at MKX's oh, about a, a month after launch, um, and I just got it for kicks. And found it really fun, so I took it not seriously, but I played it a lot for about a month or six weeks. Um, and after I found out Metplop's PS, uh, PSN, found out that I played Metplop quite a lot back then as well. <laughs> <laughs> In those six weeks. <laughs> wow. Um, but uh, yeah, so I played for a that, that sort of 
got me back into liking fighting games. So I started watching quite a lot, not playing it really. I, pl mm. I tried to play Street Fighter 4, but just didn't like it. By then, I think it might have just been released on PS4. Oh, Street Fighter 4. A few weeks after they fixed it, because I think the, the launch month, month was horrible. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I played it for like 10, 15 hours, and I didn't really like Street Fighter 4, as I didn't feel like Street Fighter 2, or at least how I used to play Street Fighter 2. So, well, yeah, but it was more with like the, the shoulder <laughs> the, the buttons shoulder in the Super Nintendo, because it's always, yeah. Always yeah. the hard buttons. Um, yeah. You, you, you had no idea why there was light buttons. <laughs> <laughs> what are these light buttons yeah. for? Yeah, jump I in. Hit them heavy. Yeah, jump in, heavy kick, and, uh, and sweep. sweep. Yeah. Um, so, what will change it though is that I played the Street Fighter V beta, um, and the first character I played was Korean. Yeah, right. And I literally fell in love with it. Oh, that's um, cute. Love it first yes, sight. Yes, yes. Nothing, no waifu thing. So just stop what you're thinking over there. Don't type it in. Uh, <laughs> and also Mika. Mika was a hell of a lot of fun in the beta too. Well, for season one she was too. Which is stupid. Hashtag no waifu. <laughs> she was so dumb. Uh, <laughs> Dude. Um, Picking all the waifus. Oh yeah, she had the super, the uncensored super as well. Oh, but yeah. No, but um, I just really... F Fell in love with how Corinne plays, but also Street Fighter V. I was naive, like there's a lot of problems, especially with Season 1 Street Fighter V, but mm. um, but yeah, I just really liked it. Yeah. And so I really, apart from that, I, I, I tried to play Street Fighter IV for about a month before launch, or Street Fighter V, played mm. Sakura, Sakura, and was awful, but... Uh, I think it did at least help me start off with some sort of confidence that at least I knew how to anti-air. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Which was a lot easier back in Street Fighter 4 anyway. Hmm. Um, I reckon we just keep that. So that was my Korean against Flayed. I know we didn't really look at it, but... Um, uh, I, have a Ch I have a Chun Li somewhere around here. Chun Li match. Here we go. Oh, well, look at you go on your ultra silver now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was almost close to gold back in May last year, uh, two years ago. Mm. Um, but I don't think that meant anything because it was with Chun in season one, <laughs> and all you needed to do back then was to anti air. And yeah. Chun had the best anti air, which is standing light kick, which you'll see a lot of, I think. Man, you're talking about Corinne, you're talking about Mika, and now we're playing Chun. As if you're not playing the waifus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Minat. Yeah. Ed. Oh man, Ed. Battle, the best battle waifu. Push, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, just looking at this match, I can already see there that I was not consistent online with um, doing Chun bread and butter combos. Yeah. Uh, which is the standing medium kick, uh, medium punch, crouching medium kick into light or medium spinning bird kick. And, I, like, I, that won't be the, f the first time you see. I drop that all the time. It took me forever to get that right. Yeah? And I reckon it only got right once I got went on to a, PS, uh, a PC. Yeah, right. Or a PS4, sorry, a PS4 Pro. Oh. Just there was a lot less... Um, Pitching? Mm. Um, so when when did you join the Discord? March, I think. March 2017. Yeah, right. Um, I joined it the day. I joined it for a fledgling competition, I think, because they've been because Team WP had been streaming yeah, right. fledgling competitions. Uh, I think it was every fortnight, maybe, mm. back then. Um, and I'd, I'd been searching on the internet for something, some yeah. sort of community. The PS4 has had a Street Fighter 4 community through the community system. Yeah. Which petered out pretty quickly. There's a lot of Street Fighter 4 vets in there, I think. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of shit talking, and it wasn't very funny anyway. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so... 
I've got one more match, but I think that might be that should be enough. I think that should be enough. Unless we want to see Brewer in May this year. No, I think we are think we're good. <laughs> All right. So the point is, the reason we did this is not just so we can. It's not a hey, look at how much we've improved, guys. Look how good we are now. It's not that. It's a hey, guys. We've improved a lot. I'm sure you guys have too. It might be worth checking it out, looking at how silly you were back in the day. Well, just looking at those ones, uh, those two matches um, against Blade, um, I had no Oki. Hmm. And this is, uh, the Karin match was back in March. So just before I joined the Discord, that's why I chose that match. Yeah, right. Um, that set. And um, and the Chum ones from last year. But yeah, I, I hadn't, I hadn't worked out any Oki. If I got a meaty, it was probably by dumb luck. Yeah. Um, and just just trying to think what else. Uh, um, counter hit combos, mm. anti airing. Actually, I, I was I think I was okay with anti airing anyway by then. Yeah, because Chun. Uh, and Karin as well, because yeah. if you're, I, I reckon jump jumping timings have gotten a lot better in the mm. last six months. I reckon. And say with a character like Akuma, yeah, um, the difference between then a couple of months after his release, which people still sort of thought he was, he kind of sucked, yeah, uh, and now is that the pressure that players um, put on with him, mm. constant pressure using all his ex abilities, um, you know, demon flips especially, uh, just constantly putting pressure forward, whichever one punch. Forward heavy punch. Whatever it is. Um, yeah, just putting a lot of pressure on. So the pressure's gotten a lot better across the board in the past year. So it's I reckon anti-airs, have, like with me anyway, I've struggled to be consistent with anti-airs because I'm concentrating so much on the ground game, concentrating on is it a demon flip? Because if it's a demon <laughs> flip, I've got to do like crouching heavy punch. But if it's a jump and an air fireball is going to come, I've got to do like a, a command dash. But if I'm too far... <laughs> you know, <laughs> see, that's why I'm spoiled with the Kuma. Oh, you're in the air back, heavy punch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, Handsome Bear says the more you play, the more you learn. That is true. You do learn more um, the more you play, but there are times where you get into a slump or you're just not improving the way you should be or winning how you think you should be. And that's the point in, in your career, a career, I guess, mm. is to that's when you need to reach out and ask someone to help. Whether right. it's, uh, like, I've asked so many people in the Discord, I'm still asking heaps of people in the Discord, hey, what can I do better? I played uh, Rotuma, I think it was last night. While we talk, I'm just going to put some vision on. Yeah. Might as well just do that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I played Rotuma. <laughs> this is when Brewer's got his uh, geef. But yeah, so... Uh, what, what, what was my train of thought? Yeah, I was playing Rotuma. I played Rotuma, and I, I think I think just so everyone knows, I think that's a fledgling's final. This is. So. Uh, yeah, I played Rotuma, and uh, obviously I got my butt kicked because uh, he's a very good player. And at the end, I said, "Hey, uh, just just quickly, what's something that that I could improve on?" It doesn't have to be in depth. It doesn't have to be anything like that. It's just just one little thing that I can can improve on. I don't remember what he said off the spur of uh, right now, but um, he just gave me a quick tip bit, which I think was um, uh, work on. It was probably work on meaties or something like that. But they'll just give you uh, something to work on, right? And you can take that. You can go in the lab. You can think about what they've said. Say, oh, you don't anti air enough, or you fell for this too much. Or just even um, all the mix-ups that he did with Urine, which were frankly quite disgusting. Um, but even when he was doing those, I'm like, what What should have I done in that situation? And he'd go, oh, that's not real. You can just do this. Or in this, it's a true 50-50. You just have to guess. You know, Just ask them about what happened in the match. And then that way you can pick up little bits and pieces of information and help yourself improve. This comes back to what we're doing with Bug. Uh, last last week. week, which is um, helping yourself improve, and one of the ways you can do that is ask someone. Definitely, and you only need to be working on one thing at once. In fact, you know a lot of people will prefer to work on only one thing at once. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think uh, with Antias, I spent a solid week 
just in the lab, uh, mashing out anti-airs until it became just like if you feel left the ground, I've got an anti -air coming in your face. Well, um, that's interesting you say that because do you, do you want to see what I I think I've got it still set up. It's hard to it's hard to know sometimes with the, the this PC version because yeah. uh, it deletes my save data sometimes. Yeah, I can uh, show you how I trained up my anti -airs. All right, I reckon we do it. Because um, we'll just let you. Yeah, you know that. another thing I did. Like I was so thirsty for knowledge uh, when I was a. By the way, spoiler: Brewer one. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I was super, super thirsty for knowledge, and I really wanted to get good, and I'm still that way. But this was back in the day when I um, watched a lot of excellent adventures. Oh, yeah. And, uh, it was good around, show. Yeah, a really good show. And it was around uh, Christmas time, and Gutex put up uh, uh, an ad to uh, help you improve in Street Fighter. It was $15, you get part of a... Uh, private Facebook group and he posts videos and he talks about how to get better and that was really good. Uh, this is still when I was a Laura player by the way and um, yeah no I found it really useful. I learned about how to look at frame data, how to uh, do meaty stuff using the Oki tool, that type of stuff. Really really useful. Um, and also how to use training mode properly. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you how I taught myself how to do anti-airs. So, um, I pick my character and I pick Ryu because he's just your basic character. Go to playback recording, recording settings, and first thing we want to do is we want to record a jump in. And I like to do a little combo afterwards just because, um, oh, whoops, I took too long. Uh, I like to do a little combo afterwards because if I get hurt, um, I want it to actually hurt. If I've missed, I want it, I want to feel that pain. That's why I do that. So you're a masochist? Yeah. No, no. If, if, if I made that mistake, I deserve to be hurt. Okay. Alright, then we reset. Alright, reset. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Alright, and then I just sit, and I anti air. And I just did, and I did this. Until I could do it every time. Like that. Alright? Now, uh, the next thing I wanted to do was, alright, cool, so I'm expecting the jump. It's gonna jump every time. Let's, uh... Change it up a little bit. Let's get him to walk backwards and forwards as if he's playing footsies. I use air quotations there. Uh, controls. All right, then we turn that one on. So now he's walking backwards and forwards. Oh, he's got a dash in there, interesting. And then we try an anti-air. So we don't know when he's gonna jump. We just know he's walking backwards and forwards. And then we can just try an anti-air. Right? <laughs> I'll stop that. But yeah, alright, so we've got him to, um, we've got him to walk backwards and forwards, we've got him to jump, and do a jumping attack. Alright? So, once we've got that down where you can anti-air, that consistently, where you're reacting to the jump, it's not like, like a, you know the jump is coming every time, you're, you're waiting, and, <laughs> that dash is stupid. And yeah, sorry. Three season one dash uh, <laughs> pattern. Yeah, yeah. And then you're waiting for that anti-air opportunity. You're reacting to it. Once you can do that every time, then we add in something different. Like uh, uh, one of the things I like to add in fireball. So then you have to be ready to block on the ground. And then once you've got that in, another thing I like to add in is just a walk forward medium kick. And then that's. A basic of uh, Ryu um, footsie game, I guess. Like, yeah. Super basic. Uh, you could even like in this chuck in like a something like that. Oh, buttons. And then turn them all on. Yeah. Obviously, you do this progressively and add add them in as you get used to them. And then now you're kind of waiting around here. And all you, you're just looking for the anti-air. You're not looking to punish anything. You're just purely looking for that anti-air. And trying to stick in that same space. I did this um, back when my internet was terrible. <laughs> so you had a lot of time. So I had a lot of time. You were waiting 40 minutes between Sky BM matches. Yes. One and done. Exactly. And all I did was just sit here and wait for... 
Ryu to come in and uh, jump. jump in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and that's that's how I got pretty good at Antias. Oh. Well, uh, you did just delete all of my uh, recordings, so uh, there is a there's. I don't want to bore anyone from recording all my stuff, but the way that I was, um, the way that I uh, got a lot better at that sort of stuff was um, not just having jump ins and different buttons as well for the jump ins, but uh, um, dash in, single dash ins, oh, single yeah. dash in throw, single dash in button, single dash in jab, whatever the fastest. Um, button is dash in block. I mean anything um, to yeah. be different, um, so I could get used to hopefully being able to interrupt, yeah. uh, catch someone dashing in or anti-airing. So and Ryu's okay because he's uh, his jumping is pretty average and his dash is pretty average as well. So yeah. Um, um, but this comes down to, as we were saying, concentrate. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's, what that's what happens in training modes. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this is, as we were saying, you want to be concentrating on one thing. You don't want to be um, overworking yourself. Like, if you're doing the dashing ins, you don't want to have him. You, you wouldn't want him to start off jumping at you at the same time. And you wouldn't want to be focusing on those anti airs. That would be a, a thing that you'd work into it to help you uh, prepare your time and reactions. Yeah. Um, I reckon we might be ready for uh, people to join the lobby. I think we might be ready for people to join the lobby and also join um, the LP for you chat. Uh, what I think we'll do is we'll get uh, Sash, if you want to jump into the LP for you um, chat, we'll get you to join us and um, we'll get we'll create a lobby. We'll put the password up and. Um, and then uh, we'll get you to fight whoever's in the lobby. Whether it, it would be any one of your choice. It could be me, it could be uh, Polly, oh, wow. it could be anyone else who is in the lobby. Yeah, we'll open it up for everyone to join. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, maybe on. have us two plus two? Sash plus two other fledglings for now. So that's five. Make. Are you ready? Five or six? Six. We'll All, six. Right. All right. All right. Then play from there. All right, the password will be. Uh, two, five, eight, zero. Oh wait, there's only one of us. <laughs> oh <going>. yeah. <laughs> there's one of us, silly us. That's alright. Um, moving castles, you said you want to get a fight stick. Um, fight sticks, it, it doesn't matter what you control you, you use. Like, actually does not matter. Like, some of the top players in the world use pad. Some of the top it's players no use, time. um... Some, some of the top players in the world use a pad. And use the analog stick. Yeah. I happen I happen to know Moving Castles uses that professional input method. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually picked up my uh, very first arcade stick when I played Blair's Blue back in. Jasper uses the analog stick. <laughs> I reckon he's told me that before too. Yeah. Uh, invite. Sash Vaughn Grimm. Uh, how do I do Y? Uh, I hope, is it Y? Okay, I'll, I'll do Y. That yeah. Way. Um, Vaughn Grimm. Where is it? It's double M, isn't it, at the end? Yes. Is that it? Yeah. But yeah, um, everyone who's out there, come join us. The lobby's under Mr. Polly. EX hyphen polydukes password protected 2580 is your password there. We've got Mr. Southie who is uh, actually improved. He's a person who has improved a lot. I played him this afternoon, I think, actually. Yeah? Yes. He's, yeah. he's, he's much improved. So good. Um, also, uh, former guest of uh, yeah. LP for you, I think. Yes. Um, all right, so one second, let's get into um, Sash. Are you there? And can you hear us? There we go. Cool. Um, I can't hear you. That's right. You probably want to have it on mute for, the, for any fights as well. 
We, we just wanted to make sure we could hear you because um, the setup's a bit weird. In fact, in fact, just uh, El, just make sure that um, the twi um, that Twitch, the stream, can uh, can hear Sash as well. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, yep. Hey, Puck. Uh, welcome to the chat. Also, um, Twitch chat, can you please tell us if you can hear Sash or not? Um, Sash, right. do you mind if we call you Sash? Yeah, cool, 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 cool. So what's your background, Sash? How long have you been playing fighting games? Oh. Nice. Uh, one sec. No Sash. Oh no Sash. Oh we, no. We can't we can't hear Sash. Oh no. Alright, that's that'll be me then. Let me look at uh, Sorry, Discord. Just just for the people at home, we've got um Polly's PC. <laughs> we've got a, a mic hooked up, like a, a nice mic. It's a Yeti mic? Yeti mic. Mm. We've got that hooked up. Uh, he's got a headset hooked up <laughs> to the mic. Um, that, I've that, got his, that's gonna be the issue, so Yeah. I've got. Hit. I may not be able to hear Sash. Uh, that's something for us to work out next time. That, that's a that's a future problem. Um, we've then we've got uh, Polly's MacBook, which I've signed into Discord on as well, and I've got a PS4 headset running from that to me. Uh, so it's a interesting setup, but you know, we'll make it work. It should actually work. Let me just try that. Maybe Sash starts, says a few more things. Yeah, I'm um, testing. Hello. Hello. Uh, howdy. Um, I can hear you. Uh, I can. I can hear both of you fine. Very good. Uh, All right. Oh, I... We can hear him. Okay. Good. All right. Very good. <laughs> I can't hear him, which is fine. <laughs> All right. So, um, Sash, it's just you and me, buddy. All right. We can do this. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right, so um, tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, so yeah, I played a lot of uh, Super Street Fighter on the SNES, just pretty much just arcade and the, with a couple of friends when I was quite young. Yeah. Um, and then put the Street Fighter away and kind of occasionally played it here and there and picked yeah. up five probably around uh, end of season one maybe and then started taking it more serious after I went to BAM um, last year. Really? That's, that's yeah. I have the exact same story. Um, yeah, ba Bam kind of changed it all for me. I think it yeah. was it was pretty awesome. I got to play a lot with uh, Shifty. Yeah. And yeah, he kind of was teaching me a lot of stuff. Prior to that, I was playing with um, a group of guys that are also in the Discord, but we play um, on Friday nights after work and kind of offline sort of stuff. Um, right. And then from that from that point on, it was like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested in this and see how it'll go. So. Yeah, trying to trying to learn, but not going the best at the moment. Kind of think I've plateaued a little. Yeah, no, I, I completely understand that. And the plateauing, that's the time you, you, you should be asking for help, which you've done, which is great. Um, yeah, no, BAM was, was my turning point. That's when I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get good. Uh, I got to play Taquito, which was awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, I had Margo in my second set. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, and it pretty much just went straight to losers after yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Sash, let's get you to play. Who would you yeah, like cool. to play? Uh, you've got myself, you've got Polly, you've got Southie, you've got Mr. Dav God. Uh, uh, pick your poison. I'll, I'll go against you, Al. I'll have Me? a shot. Yeah, yeah, no we worries. haven't played in a while. Right, so. It's a stick set up that way. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, let's go. So, um, what is it? He's going to Japan. Is that right? Yeah, I'm going to Evo. So, kind yeah, you're of. Going to Evo. Uh, what is it yeah. that he wants to wants to improve on, or wants us to be looking at? Hmm. Or in a chat, um, that is. Yeah, I guess um, where where not to press buttons. I'm still. I'm, I guess my biggest thing is I'm still trying to learn a lot of character matchups. So. Sometimes I won't know when things are fake, so I'll just kind of throw out buttons to be like, oh, okay, can I do it now or can't I do it now sort of thing. Yeah, right. Um, so knowing when to press buttons, knowing what's fake, and that kind of character-specific knowledge type of stuff. That's good that you're yeah, definitely. for him. <laughs> so I can hear. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and I do still have some um, Red Bull codes. If anyone out there wants some Red Bull codes, 
All, all you need to do... Give some advice. Give, give us some advice. Ask some good questions. I think I've got about four with me. Um, so please, please, please uh, jump in the Twitch chat. Give us some advice uh, for help Sash so uh, he can go not and over to... Keto and beat Takedo. And beat Takedo at Evo Japan. Oh, good with punch. Oops. Alright, so what I'm noticing myself is you have the problem that I have with Akuma. You have a really good anti air button, so you're weak to air fireballs. Is there a different way for him to uh, walk under them? Cam's mm. got a great walk speed, you can just walk or dash under them. Yep, nice idea. Maybe even drill under them too. Yeah. I don't know what the recovery is like for that oh. As I say that, I just jump at him. He's kicking in the corner. This is what I said, say it though. Yeah. Oh, I nice. should have seen that. This guy being blood right now. So. Yeah, oh, no. I, I would like a V reversal. Uh, just beforehand, that would have uh, put that situation in his favor. Yeah. Uh, Wait, can, can, can Kuma parry the Kami uh, V reversal? Yes. Oh, you can bite it. Oh, can bait it. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I don't do that because I'm trash. <laughs> nice parry. Oh. Interesting anti air. Oh no! And that's, ladies and gentlemen, is not any distances. Oh, interesting. Uh, I tried to pressure. Do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it is fast. Yeah. Final round. But, like, you gotta almost make the decision when she's jumped. Um, right, that is plus. Good walk under. So, I'm pretty sure you can um, buffer that standing heavy punch into Spiral Arrow, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you that distance that. you 100% should be doing that. I'm already thinking I would love him to go watch. I'm sure I've given this advice to him before. Uh, go box. watch Acrylic. Well, yeah, but all the background stuff, obviously. But, yeah. um, but in the Discord, Acrylic Saint does play mean Cammy that is very good at which Oh punch. yeah. And he will bait. You're, you, he's, Oops. If I'm learning Cammy, I would be at least learning the basics of Cammy's whiff punch. Especially for this new season. Yeah. With AE dropping and it obviously looking like it's going to be more neutral heavy. A uh, much more neutral kind of footsie game. Well, I mean, maybe not completely, but at least more so than what Street Fighter Five has been. Mm -hmm. um, Cammy should be very strong despite the bar uh, the nerfs that she's had. Yes, filthy Akuma's dev god. I Round totally agree. One. Hey, Fight. hey, hey! Now, I'm not that filthy. Evo Japan, will there be an English stream? I was told it's not on Twitch. I've no idea. That'd be really disappointing. I'm sure if there's no English stream, commentary stream, there will be some English speaking people, uh, oh, definitely from America, restreaming it with their own commentary. That was good. Yeah. Like Flo's always doing it. Uh, that sort of thing. Gosh. No conversion. But, um, yeah, he's struggling with the air fireball, isn't he? Yeah. So, like, just concentrating on the back medium punch. I know it's such a great anti air, but it's not taking into account why you're jumping in on him. It's no. not to jump in necessarily with a normal, it's to jump in with the heavy, with a uh, air fireball. You're baiting those back mini, um, uh, back mini punches. Yeah. Oh, 
damage. Oh, that was nice. Come back. Oh. Bad luck. <laughs> you win. Yeah, I think I rely on back medium punch way too much. It's been it's been a downfall of mine for a little while. Yeah. I've, I've been in I've been in the lab practicing like DP reactions to jump ins, but kind of just muscle memory kicks in and I'll just do back medium punch because it's such a good button. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, it is a very, very good button. Um, four frames too. But yeah. um, so this is this is what um, we've been talking about in the, in the previous episodes um, is paying attention to uh, what the opponent is doing. So if I'm jumping in with air fireball every time, you should pick up on that and go, all right, he's jumping in with air fireball every single time. I'm just going to dash under it. And then you can get like a full punish. Like if uh, I dash under an Akuma Fireball as Akuma, I can dash under and get a uh, crashing medium punch into whatever I want, which can lead to a lot of corner carry, stun, damage, whatever I want. So um, just watching and paying attention to your opponent makes a big difference. Like the second I noticed you were back medium punching my air fireballs, I kept doing it over and over and over again because I knew it would work. Yeah, I think that the next problem, like from what happens from that point, I kind of get in my own head and I'm like, oh, they're going to do a mix up. They're going to do an air fireball, but they're really not, and they're going to come in for a jump in, and I'm not going to be ready for it. So I kind of, I start playing, like, yeah, I'll come become my own worst enemy sort of thing, yeah. where I'll think too much about what the person's doing, rather than just going, okay, I'll dash under this time, regardless of what they do, sort of thing, you know? It's, yeah, it's trying to predict the mix-up before it actually happens, when so most of the time it actually doesn't, and it's never in my favour. <laughs> yeah, so, um, when... What you're doing is you're making assumptions. If you yeah. know your opponent is going to fireball, air fireball, air, jump in air fireball, jump in air fireball, it's, especially at the level that we are, it's most likely a habit that they're not going to change. Yeah, that's very yeah. true, yeah. So what you're... But even at higher levels, can I interrupt? Yeah. I, I don't need to hear Sash. I just wanted to say that even at higher levels, people will keep doing something until you prove that you can stop it. Yeah. Which, which would have included the air fireballs in that situation. Yeah, so, um, yeah, exactly what Polly was saying. So if Don't assume they're going to change just because they've done it once or twice to you. Assume they're going to do it over and over and over again until you prove to them that they shouldn't be doing or it Or at least you. take a, a safer, consistent option. Yeah. Which may just be dashing. Or even um, if you're expecting the air fireball, you can block because it's going to be minus in most situations. Um, oh, yeah, right. So, uh, if it, yeah, especially if the air fireball hits up high, you can you're going to be uh, you you are going to be plus as opposed to the Akuma. So it's, so it's not like uh, Cami's dive kick, for example, where if it hits at different spots, you get no, different uh, values uh, from it. So it's safe to assume most of the time, unless anyone in the Twitch chat will care to tell me differently. It is the fireball is almost always at a negative. Yeah, right. Um, but I always test people after that anyway, just to see if they're <laughs> Jasper's good. Uh, Jasper Lad says, Sash, if you think your opponent is going to jump, start walking forwards. It's quick to do a DP that way. Oh, yeah. And then just kind of like buffer it in from the, the like forward sort of thing. Well, I guess idea. Like, if you're walking forwards, all you have to do is just do uh, down forward. Yeah, like, yeah. You've already got so you're walking forward, you've got the downport in, you can pick the one you want. I've already done the first input. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. that's a really good point. Alright. Um alright, who would you like to play now? Uh you can play me again, you can play a different Akuma, you've got Southie, you can Yeah, let's play, play Southie or, or someone else on the Actually I might yeah. uh play Dav God and his Kami if you keen to do that, because the Kami map the carry Kami mirror I don't like much yeah, it's sure. <laughs> all right we can we can do that oops cool all right uh so we'll get uh southie if you're listening can you please jump to the back of the queue so we can get sash and dav god playing all right just back of the queue man
Um, Southie. All right, Southie. I'm sorry. You can come back. Uh, Jasper, the password is two five eight zero. So, all right, um, this Kami mirror, so hopefully Dav picks the Kami. All right, here we go. So we have Sash in the purple, we have uh, Dav in the well, white, Who's who, so... Yeah. Okay. Um. Crafting Heavy Punch doesn't cancel into anything except the trigger run. That is correct. Is there a point to using it in neutral? Really? Um... If you, he was pretty close. Yeah. Anyway, the first dab, anyway. Yeah. That wasn't oh, That's a crush counter button. He's, okay, alright, yeah, yeah. See my cami knowledge. Yeah. Water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper and Strapman Fine. to who's joined us. Okay. Standing heavy punch, standing heavy punch, standing heavy punch. Yeah. So something I'm noticing is you're a very static player. Um, you, you're staying in the same spot a lot. And if you watch uh, someone like Acrylic saying who is I reckon he's a little bit cammy. Um, and really good at um, playing the neutral game, playing that rift punishing game. He's always, always moving somewhere. Nice. I, I, I think he tries to find his position, so he's always trying to stand where he wants to stand. That's the that's yeah. that's that's more about what's going on there. Um, as opposed to just walking back and forward willy nilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, without a purpose. No, yeah, that's a really important yeah, uh, he, he, distinction. Acrylic will learn which buttons to stand, um, but which ones Round he needs to whiff one. punish with standing heavy punch usually. Fight. And he'll stay at, just at that range where he can whiff punish you. Yeah. Um, which is possible with that button. Yeah. Um, he'll yeah, spend some time to watch where you press buttons and when you press buttons. Yeah, it's, and it, then for him it's all, all about trying to get in eventually anyway and yeah. get into her, her loops and so forth uh, um, and really pressure you but while he's not in on you know in your face he's trying to get damage from with the punisher so he's yeah. standing that distance away that he needs to yeah just to bait you But the the knees the knees are minus, minus. yeah definitely minus minus four Round uh, I don't know the exact Fight. thing but I know you should be pressing buttons after that I haven't seen the cross up uh, 
Dive kick. Oh, dive kick. The Hooligan, yeah. But, um, yeah, I think that's like pretty useless now, right? Yeah. Oh. I don't agree with the usage of the... Griffler. Yeah. Uh, why is that? Because he's around in front, and he's almost... Oh, oh, that's Devgod. I'm sorry, I was reading the wrong bars. Um, no, no, yeah, Devgod, yeah, yeah, he spent the bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, sorry, getting confused with the cameras. Oh my Devgod, god. if he wins this, though, this is amazing. Chip him. <laughs> 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 well, I mean... <laughs> you don't want to do it all like that. Yeah. <laughs> in, a, in a block string. Mm. Um, okay. Davgod won the round after I said he shouldn't have done the super, yeah. but... <laughs> it wasn't the right choice. It wasn't the right choice. <laughs> uh, but it, he won, so whatever. Yeah, so, but explain explain why it wasn't a good choice, Polly. Uh, I, you know, I, I did say it a bit at, at the beginning because I thought it was such wrong grim and I was looking at the wrong bars and... It doesn't the, matter. The same camis or whatever. It's okay for him because he was around behind yeah. and he had nothing to lose, essentially, so it was fine. Mm. I wasn't being very observant. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just uh, laughed like uh, like Johnny from the room. <laughs> no, 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 it's more. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I wasn't trying to do it. That was a legitimate laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Alright, so not oh, like did you see that? <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking for the. So, so back to the super in round two. Uh, yeah. When he had no health, like totally correct yeah, time to do a super, as you can see by his win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, not quite. Doctor Death says, "What suggestions you have for us non camis in this matchup? What sort of things should we be watching for, uh, or watching out for against cami player?" You know, it depends on the cami oh, right boy. now because uh, a cami, say like I've been saying, like acrylic, but Kronast as well, and others in the Discord who are plat and above. Will um, uh, play Cami in a totally different style than um, we'll see the bronze than or yeah, gold or, or, or lower. Um, they they all will try and cool. did, I did like that. He almost pulled it off. Dad. Yeah. Um, but uh, they, they will still have the in your face pressure and the throw loops and all that kind of and the and the light pressure doing tick throws and so forth. Uh, which is obviously very powerful, but the higher the higher ranked camis will prevent you from keeping them out by with punishing. Yeah. Uh, her work, walk speed is that good that she can um, bait you into what you think is going to be a, a at least you know a blocked um, button that you push out. Good range button, like say Corinne standing medium kick, right? Yeah. Um, or standing heavy punch, and her walk speed is good enough to walk backwards, do a standing heavy punch into whatever with punish that you know he wants, yeah. to, or even a crouching heavy punch. So, um, yeah, just it, it's it really it it changes how you have to play Cami, and mm. say with Corinne, I need to. Super. Oh, I should have done super. Oh. I need to punish the dive kicks and... Oh, nice. Mm. Nice by dad. Um, I, I need to... Oh, <laughs> These colours, man. Still can't yeah. get used to it. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Uh, With punishing the, yeah. uh, the, uh, the, the dive kicks, um, making sure... And, and getting in her face. That's what I do. I get in their face. And oh, there we go. Nice, I like it. Oh, no. Well, is the V-Skill the right thing to do there? I don't know. Uh, like... don't know. It was a medium but thing. But... After you've done the V-Trigger... Oh, wow. oh, nice. I wonder if he did super oh. there. Yeah, mm. maybe. But then again, I suppose he could have done something. Yeah, um, but after the well V-Trigger drill, you're at a big plus, right? It's, it's a hard knockdown? 
So you should be able to do something or at least set something up. So, uh, Sash, how'd you go? Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. The pressure from Kami, like, is, it's always so hard to deal with, even though I am a Kami player. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think the other thing that gets, again, it's probably me thinking too much, is that because I play her, I'm like, oh, you know, I would expect this to happen now, and then a totally different move will come out. And so that, that plays around with my head as well, because I'm like, oh, I wasn't expecting that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, oh, we just lost um, Bellbender. No. But yeah, um, yeah. So that that comes down to what we what we've talked about in the last few episodes as well, which is the um, playing the person you're playing against, not playing the character. Yeah, like yeah, definitely. To, uh, their habits and their traits. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Sash, um, the, the, the things that I think are important for you to pay attention to at the moment is um, watching what, what your opponent does on their wake up. Do they back tech? Do they quick get quick rise? Do they delay get up? Do they uh, press buttons? Do they uh, try to tech grabs? That type of stuff. Watching that uh, and because that, that will be a habit that they have. They will back rise every time, or they will quick rise every time, and they'll press a button every time. So paying attention to that uh, will go a long way, and having options prepared for your most common knockdowns will make a big difference and keep that pressure going. Uh, can I butt in and just ask uh, Sash, what meaties have you? What what meaties do you have? Which ones have you planned out for which knockdowns? If it's a lot, just say. 10 plus i would probably i'd probably say maybe five, five. so because because with the with Which the drills? um the drills so drills. usually heavy drill is the one that i use the most mm -hmm. so it's um yeah the ones after that that i try and practice the most yeah no that's fair um yeah that that's one of the things i started doing when i was learning medias was to figure out what my most common knockdowns were and uh what should i do after those so both back roll, quick rise, and delay tech. So yeah, and I, I, it was probably about just after the first LP for you, I started to how to use Oki calculator. So I'm kind of yeah, right. starting to get my head around that as well. So mm. yeah, to actually know, you know, what I'm actually supposed to be using rather than just kind of going off a guesstimate sort of thing. Yeah, um, knowing is half the battle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, Sash, we'll give you one more. One more. Uh, one more. And then we'll uh, get another fledgling up and running. Um, who do you want to play? Uh, I'll go Jasper, because, yeah, I played him in a lounge a couple of weeks ago, and yeah. his Urian's really good. His Urian is very good. All right, so we'll just get Jasper up there, and uh, we'll get you guys to play. So, um, what we'll do after you guys have done this is we'll get Southie, if you're listening to jump on the mic, you can come join us. If you want to. If you want to, of course, and you can be our next, uh, fledgling. Getting oh. kicked, getting kicked, uh, getting... has its benefits sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty fair. Alright. Alright, let me just uh, make sure everyone can see what's going on. That would be very important. Yeah, it's got to see that white screen. Yeah. Round one. All right. Um, and just Fight. Twitch chat. Um, if you could pick one thing for Mr. Sash to work on, what would it be? Oh, confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Look, I. 
He should have been blocking. After that crashing medium punch, right? He was that far away. A crouching medium kick would have been. Is it six frames? Two. Quite. Knowing when to block after her, after um, oh, nice. after block strings is another yeah. thing. There's a f like just watching against Jasper, a platinum player, like I can instantly see that. Yeah, right. Oh, nice. I like that. Yeah. You need to believe. Oh, there we go. Ah, so getting your confirms down as well, realizing you've gone crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch. They're connected. Do something off that as opposed to just going into a crouching medium kick, which gets you nothing because it will be blocked. He's got to be careful now. I can see he's actually just sort of pressing any heavy punch rather yeah. than really without it. Yeah, right now. Oh and Jasper really has a good advantage of that. Um, he's not. Uh, he might be buffering a spiral arrow. I can never say it spiral, properly on stream. Spiral arrow. <laughs> Spiral arrow. Or a drill. A drill, that's probably what I'm thinking of. Um, so, he's, he's, he's not buffering um, that, or at least it's not working for him, but yeah. go into uh, training mode and practice that. Go into battle lounges and just do that. Keep that as like your number one priority for a battle lounge uh, with a few sets against someone. Yeah. Or even just... Um going into uh, training mode, set the dummy to random block, and just do crouching, medium punch, crouching, crouching, medium punch. If you see him connect, go into spiral arrow, otherwise then do your crouching, medium kick, and just paying attention to... Like, yeah, definitely to for the block string. Yeah. For the block string confirm. Yeah. Um, him getting standing heavy punch and, you know, into a buffered special. Uh, on hit and on reaction um, will be really beneficial, not just because it is now anyway, but next season. From Wednesday yeah. this week, it, you know, with the with the changes to the the universal changes to this game, um, it, it, I promise you, Sash will be much much better. Oh. Uh, yeah. Dav, Dav God says he needs a mic so he can get the same treatment as Sash. I think uh, that's something. If you can get a mic, Dav God, we can get you on here and we can give you this awesome, lovely treatment and healthy yeah. for you. Urien wins. Did Southie still. I, I, I haven't seen Southie respond. Alright. Sash. If yeah, Southie man. doesn't respond, <laughs> uh. We'll get uh there's Southie. Southie, do you do you want to uh Southie if you do want to join uh jump on the LP for you chat. Um If not, that's okay. Yeah, like the, the voice chat if you can. Sweet. Cool. Um but yeah, uh Dav God, hundred percent if you wanna jump on so you can have a chat back to us and that type of stuff, go for it. Uh, but yeah, Sash, how'd you go? Talk to oh, us. Pretty much as I expected it was. <laughs> it was. It was pretty brutal, but no, I actually enjoy those sort of matches because it just gives me a chance to mm. see the holes in my gameplay. Um, yeah, definitely. One thing I was actually going to ask, I heard you guys chatting while I was playing. Um, with the buffering of the, the drill from the standing heavy punch, yeah. how, how do you do it to, I guess, is, do you have to learn how to practice not hitting the kick unless you get the the actual first contact of the heavy punch because the drill is so unsafe I am always too worried to throw out the drill just in case it has been blocked you know what I mean is yeah, it right. is more of a hit confirm than it is buffering um, so there's there's two ways to do it so uh, for Polly's sake we're talking about when you're doing a standing heavy punch buffered into drill mm -hmm. uh, should you be doing standing heavy punch buffer into drill and be pressing the button every time or should you be waiting to see if the standing heavy punch hits and then pressing the kick after buffering the motion. So my answer, there's two reason, oh, there are two different things what you're doing. One is hit confirming, and one is a whiff punish. All right? If you're whiff punishing, your standing heavy punch should not be hitting in a, in a range where it's hitting. So that means it's safe for you to do the standing heavy punch buffered into 
that heavy spiral well, arrow. Well, you're hit confirming anyway. Well, it's slightly different. But yeah, so like the, in, the, in that range, right? If you're waiting for them to press a button and you are countering that button with your standing heavy punch, so you're expecting that, right? You should be pressing that standing heavy punch, buff it into drill. Because that standing heavy punch is going to whiff every time. So you should not be doing that in a range where the standing heavy punch is going to whiff. You should be doing Fair it as a, as a preemptive button into one of their attacks coming out type of thing. Or yeah, that makes sense. Or or something like that. But then, as you're saying, there is the, or as Paul was saying, there is that hit confirm where you've, uh, you're trying to hit them with that standing heavy punch. And if you see it hit, then you complete it by pressing that kick. I mean, look, when you're whiff punishing, um, in this game, with how it stands in Season 2, um, you are... It's a prediction, right? Yeah. And the prediction more often is probably because you've baited them and you know it's coming. Mm. But it, even so, say you do bait, and the, the, best, the best whiff punish in this game is from baiting. Um, so say if you're a Korean, right? Uh, you can hit, say, standing heavy kick. Someone will hit a button. And you know that you can then just whiff punish that button because mm. they won't be able to hit you from far enough away or whatever. But, yes, that's great, but then you've got to do is your special, and if Corinne does a special on its block, then she's dead, right? So, Cammy's the same. So, I still think that really hit confirming is still part of it. Um, I get used to hit confirming first. That will help yeah. me with punishing, punishing in any case. Um, it... I, I, I don't see a way around that. It's just you just go in into the training mode and, and learn and, and get your hit confirms um, right first. And the whiff punishing will come afterwards as you uh, get used to planning ahead. Hmm. Yeah, that's really good. And that's pretty much what I'm working on at the moment. Yeah. Um, it good. confirms and things like that. Because hmm. I think that was one of the, the tips that you guys gave the very first time. Um, I jumped on, so it's yeah something I've been looking at since. Yeah, and, cool. and kind of getting there, and it's it's funny like in a in a training room, you kind of feel more confident, you can get things out kind of more often. But then as soon as you get into a match, it's just like all that stuff just disappears out of your brain, and uh, you're starting all over again. And kind of yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, uh, I'm glad we've been able to help you. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, best of luck in the training lab and best of luck over in EVO Japan. Um, hopefully we, I can play you a bit more yeah, definitely. that type of stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us, man. Yeah, no, thanks for having me and, uh, yeah, good luck with the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers, man. All right. Selfie. I know, I, know, I know before you go on, I know Jasper is saying the same thing that you said. Yeah. Um, you know, the buffering is special with long range pokes outside of your opponent's range is also good. Uh, I, just good. I just think it's so easily baited, that's all. Yeah. Although, if Nemo does it, I know, I get it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Yeah. It's a Urian thing as well, but. Yeah. yeah. And Cammy at times. Mm. Okay. Uh, Southie. Hey, fellas. How's it going, man? Yeah, pretty good. That's good. So, uh, welcome back to LP for you. Yeah, thank you. No worries. So, uh, how can we help you today? What do you? Wh uh, where's your? Where's your gaming hole? I don't know, really. I was just hoping. Really. Uh... That was so <laughs> so rude. <laughs> that, that was uh, not intentional. Where, where? Where? What can we help you with? Um, I'm not too sure. I was just hoping to have a couple games and see what happens. Yeah, sure. All right. Who do you want? Um, who hasn't played yet? Cads and Starley will just go yeah, against Kads, Kads then, I guess. Uh, Stahili, you've got Polly. Um, don't, don't worry about who has played, who hasn't played. We're playing for you, right? <laughs> so, what, who do you want to verse? What do you think you'll get the most out of? Um, let's go Starley then, let's give that a go. That. Yeah. Right. Is that how you say, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, if it's not how you say that, <laughs> uh, Stahili, let us know. Um, Alright, so uh, we'll jump to the back of the queue, Jasper, Cad, 
Uh, well, let's get to the back of the queue. And, um... Yeah. Can you imagine if it's pronounced with a silent H? Staley? No. Um, alright. Uh, also... Uh... Sash, if you don't mind. Yeah, I was gonna say. Get you to jump out and... Uh, I say it right, Stahili. Uh, if anyone else wants to jump in, we now have uh, an open spot. Um... So we can get some I more. I don't know if you'll get to play though. <laughs> Look, you might jump in. You might have an open spot that uh, Southie wants to play you. So it's better than nothing. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. All right, it's Tahili back on the Ed train. I agree. Um, I was actually saying to Polly, looking at the V trigger stuff. Um, the new V-Trigger for Ed looks so cool. Do it! One less Akuma! <laughs> uh, Dav, this episode will probably last for another, um, 15, 25 Fight. minutes. We'll probably post it up at 10.30. Alright. Ooh, quick jump in. Nice big round. Set up. Alright. So, uh, Southie, what you did is you went for that uh, forward heavy punch um, straight away. You haven't established a throw game yet. You shouldn't be going for that forward heavy punch as a throw bait without establishing a throw game. There's no point to it. Because why, why would they want to uh, uh, try and tech, tech throw? Because you haven't shown them that that's what you're going to do. So they're just going to block. Oh, if you did the fireball, that would have killed. Yeah, that was not respecting um, Stahili's EX bar. Tatsu. And moveset. Oh, oh no. Ah, uh, he teched. He can't even... He wouldn't be even... Like, a meaty super wouldn't work either because of that EX DP, I think. Yeah. Oh. It's best just to go up to Ed and press um, uh, a 3 frame up. Yeah. Because I think that even uh, will. Some yeah, nice. characters. Not even his super will. Hmm. Alright. Uh. I don't know. I know, yeah, if you do the 3 frame, you're safe. Oh, good. Alright, you should have used meter in that situation. Uh, you have a lot of meter to burn. You're a little bit behind. Get the combo. Oh. Nice. And the back throw for the meter build. I like the choices. Final round. Fight. Dav, uh, about 10.30, 10.40 at most. Mm. Oh, I forgot to answer that. Oh, did you? Yeah. That's why I went for a sneaky uh, grab of some chocolate. That's <laughs> Good button, I get it, but hmm. Ed's better. Yes, it is. Oh, oh risky. wow. I think he hit a button because he saw the flash of you know, the start up oh, no. of the standing heavy punch of Ed's. Oh, probably. Oh. Nice. But Akuma's gonna have a lot of pressure, right? So he's gonna be doing a lot of things around you. Ed, close yeah. up. On wake up, whatever. I still felt like he was pressing a lot of buttons. Yeah, um, mindless buttons, not um, purposeful buttons. Like, so when you're putting on your pressure, what button do you want to use to put on that pressure, Round and why one. do you want to use that button? Do you want to use crouching heavy punch? What What do you hope to achieve by using crouching heavy punch? It's got a lot of plus frames, so that's really good. Uh, it's pretty slow, it does have a bit of knockback, so you've got to weigh that up. Then you could use uh, Crouching Medium Punch, which has, again, three frames of plus, or three plus frames. 
Uh, it doesn't need to use far back, and it's got a good amount of reach, not as far as Crashing Heavy Punch, but it's also a lot quicker. Um, so that would probably be poor. Uh, also, it will frame trap into itself. I actually don't like how much South is jumping in on Stahili. Mm. Uh, because Stahili is playing Ed. Yeah. <laughs> oh. V trigger cancel. Yeah, just did you mention what Jasper said about uh, throwing red fireballs just hanging back? Hmm. South. Uh, Jasper says, Southy, don't be afraid to back up and throw red fireballs if you have a lead. Mm. Um, you don't always have to go ham. Yeah, uh, this is what, um, I don't know who it was who said it, but normally you want to back off and just go, right, cool, I have a life lead. Come would, at me. It'd be, it'd be Nez. Yeah, probably. Sure. <laughs> it sounds like a very Nez thing to say. Patience. So yeah. Yeah, he's definitely seen the start up of the standing heavy punch and trying to hit it. Yeah. Uh, just, just block. If you're gonna do anything, if you want to press a button and be stylish, super. Oh no! I reckon super would kill him. Oh, oh, oh no! The V reversal. And uh, you, I'm pretty sure you have to V reversal one of the last hits for that to work. Because that's all invincible. Um, I forget what it's How many frames? Oh. Don't remember. Oof. Yeah, Scythe is saying, um, this second end hit works. Uh, from Staheli. So, uh, Southie. Yeah. How'd you go? Uh, yeah, it was alright. I was, um, listening to what you were saying, sort of not jump as much and maybe back off a bit. You don't have to back off a bit all the time, just knowing when to uh, back off. Like, when you have him in the in the corner, you don't have to be pressuring the whole time. You can take a step back, uh, maybe try and bait a jump, or um, get ready for a whiff punish type of thing. Um, you don't have to be in there pressing buttons the whole time. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Um, also, uh, using your meter a lot more. Akuma has some of the best EX moves in the game. Um, so you can use it as a combo and a, for stun, for damage, corner carry. There's a whole heap of things that you should um, be using that meter for. For like, um, it was a time where you had full meter. It was near the start of the round. You could have either gone into super, which wouldn't have been a good choice, but using like the EX demon flip just for corner carry, just to get him back a little bit closer to the corner. Uh, you didn't eat it in the end. You ended up taking the round, but. Just being aware of that as an option, or being aware that using that little bit of extra meter to get the stun, um, that type of stuff, just looking for that, uh, being aware of your meter will make a big difference. Yeah, probably need to pay a bit more attention to it while I'm playing. Yeah. Uh, not quite Dr. Death says, Eds aren't great at getting in, hence why we hate Guile. If you've got a life lead, give yourself some space and watch us hang ourselves on all the rope you give us. Yeah. Um, so, w you won a few rounds. Uh, you won a game, yeah? Uh, no, I got two. I, I think I won a round or something. Oof. Yeah. So, what what do you think was your problem there? Um, not too sure, really. I think yeah. I just got outplayed, but. Um, I reckon. Um, I I would like to see Southie consider. Uh, when you say pressuring someone in the corner, right? Uh, and he's doing a bunch of crouching medium punches and so forth. Uh, and then he's out of range. Mm. To consider what his next move is, and it's not necessarily sweep. So sweep will sometimes work, but it's yeah. so slow yeah. that most of the time it won't work. So it'd be better to either block or to do something else. What's How much is crouching medium punch on block? Three. Plus three? Yeah. It's ridiculous. So, um, after two, mm -hmm. would you block? Uh, no. So, or would you do something else to counter hit? This is, this is what I would do. 
Um, I've, I've got three things that I do, or maybe four, right? So crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch, standing medium punch, fireball. That leaves me at a nice box string. It's a nice box string, and it leaves me at a really good uh, space where it's the fireball. Even though it's minus six, can't be punished. Right. Right. Uh, then Unless you chunk. Pardon? Unless you chunk. Unless you chunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch, standing medium kick, because that uh, it's a frame trap. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then maybe into fireball. Uh, also, crouching medium punch, walk forward, like micro walk forward, crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch. And then the last one, which this is my favorite and I've only recently started doing it, crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch, standing medium kick, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's the thing, you have, you have a plan, right? Yeah. You, you're, you're baiting them into a reaction after yeah, that. Yeah, 100%. So. so this is something that Panda told me, mm. right? Do, do your block string, like the catch a medium punch, catch a medium punch, crat, uh, standing medium kick, and then do nothing and watch what they do. And just watch. Do they continue to block? If so, take note of that. That's a mental thing. That's time for you to walk forward, right? Do they press a button? What button do they press? Is it within range? If it's not within range, next time you do that, catch a medium punch, catch a medium punch, standing medium kick, wait, half a second then print, press standing medium kick again you've got a, a whiff punish yeah i got you i never thought about that yeah so just just uh watching paying attention more purpose yeah just, planning ahead basically is what it is yeah just uh putting a little bit more thought into what you're doing and this is the hard part of street fighter right <laughs> so where you are now is where i was when i when i got to gold and i that that's just like you've got a plan of how you play, and you apply that plan to everyone you play. You might make some some adjustments depending on what's happening and some things that happen over and over and over again, or some preconceived notion of how that player plays or how that character plays. But you've got a plan and you stick to it. It's kind of the best way to think of it is like you've got uh, your, your computer, things happen, and that's an input, and you have a predefined output for what has happened or what is happening on the screen, and that won't change. So what you need to start doing is going, what what is happened, what's hap what has happened, what is going to happen, and then thinking about that and making adjustments according to those things. Yeah, gotcha. I sort of just press buttons and hope for the best, but I really need to start sort of thinking about what I'm doing during yeah. the matches. Yeah, it, it is a very hard thing to do. Um, damn it, I've just forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> I was waiting all that time. Yeah. Oh, um, no, 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 it was, it, um, uh, I know uh, L just gave you three or four block strings and frame traps and ideas and so forth. Uh, the one that's basically uh, two crouching m medium punch. punches and then standing uh, medium kick and then do nothing is interesting. And to try that one out, but keep it simple. At the beginning, as you're just sort of learning to do those things, uh, to use your block strings and frame traps purposefully, not just for the fact that it is a block string, just keep it simple. Just pick two of them mm. and see what happens online. Um, like that, do nothing. You you can apply it to like standing, med crouch a medium punch, crouch a medium punch, standing medium punch, Hadouken, and then just don't do the Hadouken. Right? Yep. So if you're going to do that, keep the block stream similar so they expect something. Yeah. Cool. Um, what's the time? All right, one more. Um, yes. We'll do one more. All right, Southie. This is it. This is the last game of the evening. Last set. La well, last set of the evening. Who do you want? Uh, I'll just go against Kaz. He's been in here for a bit. Kaz Al. All right. Poor Scythe. I'll play Scythe having, afterwards. I was having trouble <laughs> against his Minat earlier, getting in on him, so it might be good practice. Yeah, right. No, that'll be good. Uh, Cad's out. So good right now. Um, right, let's get Cad up to the up to the top. I'll get... Oh, don't want to do that. What's the right button? Very good. We got there. No. No. Sure. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> because... because um, we're on the PC. I had to remap the, the the buttons on the stick, and I did it slightly wrong. So buttons <laughs> that should be 
certain buttons aren't where they should be, you know? You mean the cancel button is your uh, is your confirm button, basically? Oh, uh, cancel button's the confirm button, or the triangle, or whatever it is on the PS4. But yeah. Yeah, but this is kind of weird, because I'm not quite sure how to play Minat, so I end up just, like, doing random shit to try to get in on her. Yeah, Minat can be interesting, but um, fireballs are good against Minat, because they dissipate. Akuma's fireballs are good. Well, yeah, that's... Sorry. Yes. Akuma's fireballs are good. Um, she can still... Uh, as Kazao especially will get used to it, you can do a lot of things with Akuma's fireballs, though, with her V-Skill. So you can still be very dangerous with that V-Skill mm. as, as Minart. Just gotta be... You, just, you play his fireballs differently than any other fireball character. Yeah. Right. Actually, you know what? Almost every fireball character is completely different from Minart, so... Yeah. Um, also, when, oh, once you get in, stay in. Um, oh, especially with Bernard, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't just... Your whole purpose is to wait for the perfect time to get in, yeah. like there, and you never let go. Yeah, stay in that face. Yeah. So, that's something you should notice, right? You did a throw, you oh. did... No, no, no. Cool. Block that V-Trigger cancel into uh, her slide, and V-Trigger the slide. There you go. It's not V trigger, V reversal. V reversal. I mean. Yeah. Oof. That just like it will stop her 15 second long block string <laughs> guessing. <laughs> yeah. You won't have to get. You won't have to see when she does an overhead or whatever. Yeah. Not, uh, not quite. Doctor Death says he loves this show, and we love you too, man. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, it, it's nice to get. Know that people actually enjoy this and get something from this. Um, Tank says Minat has one anti air button, not being short range, and she can't get a good pull up after, so it's worth it. keep jumping and taking the damage until the button or air fireballs work, because once you're in, you can stay in. Yes and no. Once you start playing the better Minats, uh, cat cells. Transition. Same transition. Same oh, jeez, sorry guys. Ah, thank you, uh... Damn! Never night. Never night? Never night. Uh, right. Yeah, it has to happen once. No. Fair enough, uh, not quite up to death. That's fair. Um, anyway, oh, and one of the things... That was after I had chocolate too, some sugar, I can't believe it. <laughs> um, but yeah, don't be afraid to use Vera Vessel Self, yeah, don't be used it once against the uh, Ed Super and got punished for it, unfortunately, but yeah. Uh, so, um, I want to go back to Minat's AA. Um, you'll get to the stage where you start playing Minat who will never let you in. You just can't get in. I know Akuma has a easier way to get in with the air fireballs and other pressure. It is true, like, demon flits are hard to yeah. deal with. Um, but even so, uh, she can use her down B skill pretty effectively against them too. So she doesn't have much of a follow up afterwards. So, it, yeah, you can keep jumping in in the lower ranks maybe, but I, I just, like... It's dangerous. It's, especially with the Kuma health. Yeah. It, you gotta really time it right. Just willy nilly jumping in and just keep trying, it's not gonna work. Just quickly, you should have V Trigger cancelled that heavy punch, heavy punch, by the way. 100%. You got the crush counter into it. Yeah, it should have given you more than enough time to go. Heavy punch, heavy punch, V trigger cancel. And then you could have got a follow up, you would have had the V uh, trigger dragon punch uh, knockdown, and you could have got a whole heap of stuff started. Um, also, you should have activated. Oops. <laughs> you should have activated V trigger on one of those. Um, on one of those fireballs as well. You can... Like, as a Kuma, you can activate V-Trigger basically at any time, right? So throw that fireball, activate V-Trigger. Um, just get the... Make them block something, activate V-Trigger, you know? Also, with Minat's slide, if it's from range, a uh, long distance, like max range, you can uh, either walk backwards or dash backwards. And if you've got a long range poke or something like that, you can whiff punish that very easily. Yeah. 
Oh, nice. Uh, v reversal. Oh no, he he. he yeah, yeah, he could have he could have V reversal. Not with. Yes, yeah, he could have. Because you got hit with the overhead, didn't he? Yeah. I just looked away for a second. Um, all right. So uh, there's two things I want to say quickly. Uh, one is you've been hit pressing but like uh, been caught pressing buttons a few times. If you're going to be pressing buttons either on your wake up or in the middle of things, try and fit, like there needs to be a purpose, not just a, oh I need to press a button. There needs to be a purpose for pressing the button. Is it a light button? If it is a light button, you need to be ready to confirm to use a light confirm into a light tattoo or, or something like that. Um, if you're pressing, going to go press that button to interrupt something, is it worth doing a EXDP? So that's something to consider. Um, and also in one, one of the the first round it was. You threw Katzal in the corner. Uh, you dashed up and you did crouching heavy punch. He blocked. And that's something you need to see and go. All right, cool. I threw him and he just sat down and held down back. So dashing and throwing again. Uh, that's the type of thing you need to be looking for. Nice uh, reaction to the to the drill. Yeah. Katzal's got a good Minot drill. Um, much yeah. better than his ranking. We'll show you from his battle sim, obviously. Yes. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, that was, that was so risky. Thing, yeah. But should have activated. Especially on the sweep. I wish he V reversed a play earlier. Yeah. I just. It's like. You're going to get a lot of damage on Minar anyway if you get in, so just stop the pressure as early as possible with a V reversal. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, I wonder what he did. Uh, the wrong thing. That, that jumping heavy punch is a very good button, so... Yeah. Her jumpings are actually pretty good against um, quite a lot of any, especially light any. Oh, that's out! Love it. So good. He did. I saw that earlier today, actually. I, <laughs> yeah. So I'm not surprised by that. No. Oh man. I love it. That's out. He's so good. Slide. Oh no. Nah. Too late. Then. Yeah. Here we go. Dash demon. <laughs> he did it! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Katzel was so ready! Oh man. Ooh. Yeah, look, this is really dangerous to be throwing fireballs out with all these balls hanging around. Yeah. yeah. She's tricky to play against. You have to be, um... You have to change the way you're playing. Sice says would super have been the right punish for jumping at the end of that round. Well, it would work. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. What's the startup on it? Is it one frame? Don't know. Yeah, oh. I tried the super when she jumped it on me. Yeah, right. But I just got hit. Ah, that's what it was. What did he try to do? Uh, he tried to super when she jumped in when he lost that round there. Oh, okay, but he, he just didn't, he just didn't come out. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, so. It's so uh, it's obviously fully frame, in invincible from frame one. So. Yeah. Um, Southie, you, you do some really good things and you've improved so, so much since I first started playing it when you're a silly it's little god scrub. So you've done so well. Um, you just need to switch on your brain a little bit and then you'll be golden. Yeah, it's really tough against um oh, by, by switching as well. on the brain. You mean by planning ahead and using yes. using certain tactics with purpose. Yes, being more purposeful in what you're doing. And I, I, yeah. I say this, and I preach it a lot. Uh, I don't do it, but I say it, <laughs> and I preach it a lot. It's really hard to do. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, Tame says two things I saw was using fireballs in the wrong ranges, her jump ranges, and a waste of red meter in a V reversal heavy matchup yes yeah probably a lot of matchup knowledge as well i have no idea what a lot of characters can do still yeah. especially her uh yeah no, so definitely. i'm probably pressing buttons when i shouldn't be i'm just trying to figure out what the what to do yeah uh, you know what you should do you should uh send kadzao a dm or even polly maybe sometimes because i know he has him in that 
and say, hey, can you man at me? Oh yeah, I played like three first of fives of them earlier this morning. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. And that'll just get you some, uh, at least, um, some knowledge and then you can go to like uh, training mode, check out things that they're doing or even just check out their frame data and know when to respond. Actually playing uh, Kadzow and myself separately is actually interesting because we have two very different Monats because we're good at different things. Yeah. So, yeah, but uh, there's Kemzachi, how do you, I don't know how you pronounce the guy's name, he's from New Zealand I think in the Discord, mm. um, he's got a good Monat. Uh, if he's not platinum, he'll be there soon. I mean, diamond. Um, Kamzachi, is that what it is? Kamz H? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, check check them out, ask them for help. Just ask for help, that's the best thing you can do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, alright, um, cool. Thank you so much, anyway, for joining us again, Southie. I uh, hope... Yeah, useful. cheers lads. It was good. Um, it's been really good having you here again. And uh, thank you to everyone who joined us and played. It's Tahili, Kadzao. Um, Poor Scythe got Scythe. nothing. I'm sorry you didn't get to join in. Oh, uh, we got, we got to we gotta have Scythe in on a Korean episode or something oh, definitely. like that. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you in, uh, in uh, AE, my friend. Definitely. Alright. Um, again, thank you very much. You've all been great. It's been great having you here. Um, it's got a shield, it's shield time. Yeah, shield time. Uh, if you liked what we've done, uh, just click the follow button on Twitch. If just you know, so you, you know when we're coming on again or the Team WP things are happening. If you really like us, click the subscribe button. Help out Team WP. Uh, if you want to watch this again, if you missed things because you were playing uh, against us or something happened and you just want to get that information again, or you're me and couldn't hear any of the guests speaking at all. Yes, that too. Uh, ch check us out on um, on YouTube. We've got the Team WP YouTube. Go over there, click the subscribe button there. All the replays are uploaded there. All the um, all the uh, Team WP tournaments are there as well. So check that out. Uh, so click the subscribe button while you're there as well. Go to, follow us on Twitter. Um, check out the Team WP website. We've got a whole heap of information about Team WP. We've got information on our sponsored players. We've got uh, a calendar that has heaps of events. It has everything Team WT has planned. It has everything um, that ha that's happening in Australia. When's the next Fledglings? The next Fledglings... Um, has that been confirmed yet? I don't remember off the top of my head. But it will be in the calendar, so go check that out. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, thank you so much guys. I really appreciate you all sitting and watching and, and commenting on the um, In the twitch chat. It really helps. It helps us um, Get some details out there as well. So Thank you so much guys. It's been a pleasure. Good night. See you on the other side of the AE drop guys Oh, yeah, AE is coming soon. Next episode will be an AE episode. Can't wait. Yes. See you guys. See ya.